Okay, so today we're gonna be shooting with one camera, one lens, and the camera body I'll be using today is the Canon R5 Mark II with the 35 millimeter prime, the 1.4. Uh, actually, haven't been using this much, as much as I like, but. This is actually not a huge size. I mean, it's not as small as the 50 millimeter, of course. But and by the way, I feel like the 50 millimeter f1.4 might be out fairly soon. Hopefully within this year, and that'll be interesting because I feel like it's going to have like a better video function. At the same time, it's going to have 1.4, and it's going to be an arrow lens too. So that's quite exciting. But we're going to be using a 35 today. That's actually one of my favorite Pokemon to use for street photography or just everyday photography. Any kind of like documentation, I feel like 35 is the way to go. All right, thank you. Cool. Very nice, very nice. Oh. I almost forgot, uh, I actually have the Nisi Pro Mist filter one fourth on this lens. I feel like whenever I go out and shoot, I have this filter on. That's why I got it for almost all of my lens. Each of my lens has like a mist filter in front of them when I'm just shooting for fun, when I'm not doing client work. So this time with the 35 millimeter, it's a lot more restricting compared to the first time when I was trying to shoot at 35 using the 15 to 35. However, I feel like it's actually not that bad. Like with the 35 millimeter, if I need wider shots, I'll just step back a couple more steps. If I need like a tighter shot, I'll just step in. Or even like, I feel like whenever I need like 40, I can just reach my arm ahead instead of putting the camera against my eye. This is like more like 35. If I reach my arm out, it's more like a, I guess 40-ish approximately. So it's actually not that bad. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that the 35 is very versatile, more than you think it will be because it's like right between 28 and 50, which is two, I guess, the most popular. Well, 35 is kind of popular too nowadays for street photography, especially. And for documenting life, I feel like 35, you get a wider field of view to incorporate more environment in front of you. So this way you can document more and include more memories inside your photos. For size, I feel like the Canon R5 Mark II and the 35 millimeter here, it's not exactly small, yes, but I actually don't mind it that much. I'm quite used to using like a big camera just anywhere and usually people don't care if you like really pay attention to them. Nobody really cares if you have a big camera on you or not and take photos on the street especially. Everyone's just going about their days. I will say though, however, it is easier and like not as tiresome to carry like smaller lenses and camera bodies on like this one this chunky camera here chunky setup it's way easier to bring that setup out compared to this big this big guy here
However, despite the size of this camera, body and lens, the, the focus and just just how both of these works together is just phenomenal. And that's why I feel like this is just such an easy camera to use on the street, just everywhere, even for work. I use this like every week, every day. And the autofocus and the focus on this lens is just impeccable, it's just so fast. I feel like if I, if I miss a shot, it's almost 100% my fault because the focus is so good on this lens. And even with the pair, when you pair up with the Canon R5 Mark II. Now, if you compare this lens with the 15 to 35, and you'll see that this is substantially smaller. However, I feel like with the 15 to 35, it's more versatile because I can have some vlog with this, and then if I need more like architectural shots, I can go to like 20 millimeter or even 15 if I need to. But the size difference is uh, still quite substantial. And most importantly with the f1.4 it's a lot easier for me to isolate the subject whenever I need to. It just renders beautifully. It's definitely a plus when you're on the street or when you're just like documenting everyday life. Even though most of the time I'm shooting like between 5.6 to like 7.1 but if you need to the f1.4 has you covered. Using a prime lens like just the 35 is also very very restricting and that's that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it you know, one body, one lens, fun because they're limited and you kind of have to create kind of on a spot because you don't have the right focal length for whatever you're shooting and you have to think creatively to make the shot work, make the shot happen. And that's, that's the beauty behind using one body and one lens. It just makes everything more challenging and that's exactly what makes it fun. There's like no one, almost no one on the train. Blue hour is always better than sunset. You know, super safe with all these police cars around. <laughs>